hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you the maximum spacing of the stirrups in a beam okay so uh, it is very important if you are a civil engineer that how much should be the maximum spacing first of all i would like to tell you what is spacing okay so spacing is the gap between the stirrups okay you can see this is a stirrup this is a stirrup so this gap is known as what spacing okay so how much should be the maximum and minimum spacing between this stirrups okay so you can see here is a beam and uh, these stirrups are bonded like this uh, with a main main rod okay this longitudinal rods okay so let us uh, see what are the different factors uh, for the spacing of the stirrups okay so and in first point the spacing of vertical stirrups in a beam is minimum near the support okay guys if we have a beam like this okay so uh, it is first point is telling us that the center to center spacing of the uh, vertical stirrups uh, in a beam is minimum near the support for example this is our beam okay so and this is the support for example this is support then the spacing of this stirrups will be minimum at the support at this side also okay but maximum at the center okay so this spacing is maximum and at the support is this spacing is minimum okay now at second point the center to center spacing of the vertical stirrups in a beam is maximum toward the center of the span of the beam okay i just told this that uh, the uh, spacing between the stirrups is maximum at the center of the span this is why because when load applied on this beam then the shear force will be minimum at the midpoint and maximum at the uh, end point okay so uh, we know that the stirrups are used to design uh, stirrups are designed to uh, stop to prevent from the shear failure in the beam or column okay so the second point is telling us that because at the center of the beam the shear force is what uh, minimum so we don't have to provide more steel rod at the mid span okay so that we have to provide more steel rod at the support and maximum uh, toward the center of the span of the beam okay after that in third point the center to center spacing of the vertical stirrups is minimum at the junction of the beam or a beam and column okay so junction means the same things as a point number one when there is uh, when there is junction of the beam and column like this is also beam this is also beam and this one is our column then at this point we have to provide the uh, this uh, stirrups at a lower spacing okay so now let us move toward our point number four the maximum spacing of the shear reinforcement shall not exceed 0.75 d okay where d is the uh, effective uh, depth of the beam okay guys so if if our beam is for example 200 mm then the maximum maximum spacing between this stirrups should not be more than 0 0.75 multiply 200 okay and it will give us approximately 150 mm we should not provide more than 150 mm spacing between these stirrups okay and last point is guys the permissible value of the shear stress depend the, on the percentage of the steel as well as grade of concrete okay but i squad had uh, i squad had told us that uh, our maximum uh, spacing should be how much 0.75 d but if we can increase the strength of the concrete or the percentage of steel in this uh, beam then we can also increase the spacing between this stirrups okay now uh, one bonus point i want to tell you that number of stirrups for example this is our beam and we have to calculate total number of stirrups then how will we calculate okay but the spacing between this stirrups must be same to apply this formula okay guys so formula is number of stirrups will be length of beam total length of beam up to which we want to provide the stirrups okay so l divided by spacing between this stirrups spacing between this stirrups for example 200 mm 300 mm 400 mm etc and plus one okay so if our 
length length of this beam is for example 1000 mm and the spacing between this stirrups is 1000 uh, sorry 100 then total number of stirrups will be l it means 1000 divided by spacing which is 100 and plus 1 and here we can cancel to 0 and 10 plus 1 equals to 11 okay so in this way we can calculate the total number of stirrups in a beam okay guys so these were the most important points uh, regarding the maximum spacing of the stirrups in a beam okay so i hope this video helpful uh, remains helpful for you this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you